All righty, happy Wednesday afternoon. Your full weather forecast brought to you by Scott's Recreation, New England's largest trailer dealer, home of Maine's lowest camper and tractor prices, with locations in Turner, Manchester, Herman, and Orono, Maine. So here we go. We did see this uh, aerial flood advisory extended till about the noon time frame. So about now we're, we're seeing if it might expire as we have an ice jam that's really developed to the southwest of Lincoln. That's why this has been issued. We'll see if it gets extended yet again. But otherwise, though, hopefully things will start to improve there very shortly, if not now. But otherwise, here we go. So we are watching snow moving in from the west going toward the east. So a little bit of accumulating snow can't be ruled out. Whatever accumulates will not last long with warmer temperatures that will be on the way as we have this warm front right about in here that's really arcing over us right now. So with warmer temperatures that are moving in, that's going to be melting some snow. We might get close to 50s within the next few days, so that will really feel like a heat wave around here. But future cast moving forward, we are seeing that snow that is developing. We'll keep that going for most of today with a break tonight, but a slight chance on the way late tonight, especially along our northern counties, though, and we'll see that moving through as we head towards early Thursday morning. Otherwise, we'll hold on to the clouds and maybe a few breaks in those clouds from time to time. But overall, the clouds in general went out in our neck of the woods, although maybe some clearing further off towards the south and west, at least for a, a time being. But again, we're going to see those clouds build back in as we head towards a Friday. So how much snow? This is on top of what's already fallen. In general, about another half inch or less before we're all finished up, maybe a little bit more further off towards the south and east, and obviously more on the way further off towards the north. The next way that heads in our direction Thursday night into parts of Friday, especially further off towards the north. So maybe a few inches on the way up in that region before we're all finished up there. Wave heights are not too bad for us right now, around one to three feet, according to some of the buoys out there. So overall, not too bad as we continue to move forward. No alerts in effect along the coastline at this time. Our average high is 31 degrees, low 30s today, upper 30s Thursday. Look at this 40s Friday, Saturday, maybe 50 Sunday, but we're stopping at 49 degrees for the time being. Falling back into the 30s Monday, back in the 40s as we head towards your Tuesday. So for today, not too bad. Lower 30s with snow showers on the way. In general, an additional half inch or less. Let's southwest wind at about 5 miles per hour. For tonight, mid-20s, mostly cloudy with a slight chance for snow. Better opportunities further off toward the north with the wind overall looking nice and calm. And for tomorrow, upper 30s, mostly cloudy, a slight chance for snow. Southeast wind at about 5 miles per hour. Scott's Recreation extended forecast. So mostly cloudy on Friday, highs in the mid-40s. New Year's Eve, a slight chance for rain, otherwise mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 40s, upper 40s to maybe lower 50s on Sunday, New Year's Day as the rain moves in.